A Russian Su-34 fighter jet has crashed in mountainous terrain in North Ossetia, killing its crew. Kremlin-aligned Russian news agencies reported this. In the Republic of North Ossetia Alania, in a mountainous area, an Su-34 aircraft of the Russian Aerospace Forces crashed during a scheduled training flight, Russia's RIA state news agency cited the defense ministry as saying. The jet reportedly crashed during a routine training flight. Early reports indicate that technical malfunction was the cause of the accident. The MASH Telegram channel wrote that the tragedy occurred near the village of Gorny Zuerika, where an explosion was heard at night. TASS reported that a Su-34 had crashed in an uninhabited area, with no ground damage reported. The aircraft was carrying two pilots. Russian state media, citing a source in the emergency services, said there were two pilots on board. An investigation commission from the Russian Aerospace Forces has flown to the crash site. After sanctions were imposed against Russia for its ongoing war against Ukraine, there has been an increase in aircraft accidents in Russia. This has been attributed to a shortage of necessary parts which Russia used to import from Western countries. The Sukhoi Su-34 is a Soviet-origin Russian all-weather supersonic medium-range fighter bomber aircraft. Based on the Sukhoi Su-27 flanker air superiority fighter, the Su-34 has an armored cockpit with side-by-side -side seating for its two pilots. The Su-34 is designed primarily for tactical deployment against ground and naval targets on solo and group missions in daytime and at night, under favorable and adverse weather conditions and in a hostile environment with counterfire and electronic warfare countermeasures deployed, as well as for aerial reconnaissance. The Su-34 is planned to eventually replace the Su-24 tactical strike fighter and the 2-22M long-distance bomber. Putin's ally suggested expanding the target of Russian weapons to shores of Atlantic Ocean. Russia's buffer zone in Ukraine effectively extends to the whole of Europe due to the range that Western weapons provides Kiev's forces, Kremlin propagandist Vladimir Solovyov has said. In March, Putin called for a new sanitary zone within Ukraine to help protect against long-range strikes by Kiev and cross-border raids, Newsweek recalls. He said such a buffer area would be quite difficult to penetrate with foreign weapons. Solovyov who has close ties to Putin, raised this topic on his evening program on the Russia One channel, where he frequently describes the war started by Putin as a proxy conflict between NATO and Moscow and calls for missile strikes on the West. One guest, Rodion Miroshnik, a Russian foreign ministry ambassador at large, asked, why is there a question about a sanitary zone, given that the 20-mile distance between the combat zone and the border city of Belgorod could be breached by Ukrainian artillery and multi-launched rocket systems? But Solovyov said that the real sanitary zone is the Atlantic, with the arrival of F-16 fighter jets and missiles that can travel 1,000 kilometers. Washington gave the go-ahead for other countries to supply the US-made aircraft, which are expected to arrive on the front line this summer. Kyiv is awaiting the delivery of a $61 billion military aid package passed by US Congress in April. These dirt bags will not calm down until Russian soldiers are making porridge to feed the liberated citizens of Berlin, Paris and Lisbon, he said in comments in a clip shared on X by journalist and Russia watcher Julia Davis. Solovyov said that he was in favor of very harsh methods in the war suggesting that a Russian flag would be planted in the rubble after the country's destruction after which we will build everything from scratch. Solovyov also spoke of the need for Nazi dirt bags to be eradicated, referring to one of Putin's justifications for his full-scale invasion being to denazify Ukraine, which has been roundly rejected by Kiev and the international community. Solovyov then used dehumanizing rhetoric in describing the fight against Ukraine by asking, have you ever tried getting rid of bedbugs? Next to the video clip, Davis posted on X, meanwhile in Russia, Vladimir Solovyov insisted that Russia's sanitary zone should stretch all the way to the Atlantic. He compared Ukrainians to bedbugs that have to be eradicated in order for Ukraine to be cleansed, the post added.